Mining is key for socioeconomic development and industry. Extracted metals and minerals are used to build roads, electric cars, or high-tech electronics. However, mining also generates large amounts of hazardous waste, which are often stored in specific facilities, like tailings dams or ponds. Since 1970, the extraction of metals and minerals has tripled. With the transition to a low-carbon economy, demand will grow even more, and so will mine waste. If poorly designed or managed, tailings facilities pose high risks to societies, the environment and infrastructure. Failures can release flash flood-like mud waves, which destroy everything in their path. The catastrophic dam failure in Brumadinho, Brazil in January 2019 shocked countries around the world, leaving five miles of destruction and killing 259 people. Failing to account for climate change impacts like heavy rains or snowfall when managing and designing such facilities is also dangerous and costly, as the dam break in Baia Mare, Romania showed. It caused severe transboundary water pollution in Hungary, other downstream countries and the Black Sea. These are just two of many tailings failures in the past, and statistics show that the consequences of such accidents are becoming more severe. Preventing tailings failures, including their transboundary effects, and putting safety first must become a priority. We cannot continue business as usual. Countries with economies in transition face additional challenges with orphaned or abandoned tailings facilities. These are often ticking time bombs, meaning that it's not a question of whether an accident will happen, but when, if no action is taken. Regulations and safety standards in these countries may be outdated and should be harmonized with international good practices, like the safety guidelines and good practices for tailings management facilities developed by the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, or UNECE. These guidelines contain safety principles and recommendations for governments, competent authorities and operators. To support countries in the practical implementation of the UNECE safety guidelines, the German Environment Agency created a checklist methodology for authorities and operators. First, authorities can map their facilities based on a tailings hazard index. All they need is basic data such as the tailings volume, toxicity of stored substances and dam safety parameters. The Tailings Hazard Index helps identify which facilities deserve immediate attention. Operators can then apply checklists to identify major safety and management problems at the facility level. This helps them determine short, medium and long-term measures and estimate the resources requirements. The methodology also includes a catalogue with possible measures to take. The safety guidelines and checklist methodology have been successfully applied by mining operators and industrial safety authorities across the UNECE region to improve tailing safety and management practices. Institutional coordination and transboundary cooperation are vital for effective tailings management as accidents often have cross-border effects. Authorities must coordinate at national, regional and local levels and with operators and stakeholders to ensure safety. Just as they work together across borders to prevent accidents from happening, authorities and operators protect people's health and the environment. Besides local and regional benefits, improved tailings management contributes to accomplishing the objectives of Agenda 2030 with its Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction and the Sustainable Development Goals. It also strengthens mineral resource governance and sustainable infrastructure. With these practices applied, authorities and operators within and beyond the region will be ready to prevent accidents at tailings facilities. This is important on our path towards achieving zero failures and zero harm.